In recent years, inhabitants of Abuasi have complained that the area has been neglected and not seen the deserved development despite it being a leading mining town. Residents keep complaining of unemployment in the area and many say there are limited job opportunities for the indigents. Due to these concerns, there has been a lot of agitation by residents in recent times. For instance, the residents during a recent demonstration called on Anglicode Ashanti Obwasi Mine to cede part of its concession to be used for community mining purposes. In addition to this, they sent petitions to relevant authorities. This is our petition for the government and Nananum to prevail upon Anglicode Ashanti to cede its abandoned mining sites to the members of the association and the youth in general for community mining purposes. The undersigned and on behalf of the members of the association, we would like the President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nanado Dankwa Ekuf Abu, True Honorable MC Elijah Adanse Bona, Honorable DC Faustina Emisa, and the Nananum of Adanse Traditional Council to prevail on Angogo Ashanti of Wasi Mine to cede its abandoned mining sites or pits for community mining purposes and also to employ more of Wasi citizens. The Municipal Chief Executive of Obwasi, Elijah Dansibona, who received one of the petitions, even joined the call for Anglo Ashanti Obwasi Mine to consider releasing a part of his concession to the people in the area to mine and also come up with a package to benefit the indigents. I would also take this opportunity to plead with AGA that, yes, we are all witnesses to the fact that there are people who are not from Obwasi, but getting the opportunity. We are not saying that only Obwasi people should get the opportunity to work at AGA. However, they should also consider us because we have been with AGA for so many years. The impact of mining has killed a lot of people in Obwasi, just as uh, in Takwa and any other place. So they should consider the people of Obwasi. They should package something for Obwasi. Aside from the concession they need for mining, they should also consider Obwasi people. We are not saying uh, no Obwasi person is working in AGA. Some are there, but comparatively, I think we have more people from outside of Boise than those within of Boise. Following some of these concerns from the indigents, the management of Anglican Ashanti of Boise Mine says, as part of its 10-year development plan, it has started developing a comprehensive strategy to develop of Boise and also make the lives of the people better in diverse ways. Iman Obedu is the sustainability manager of Anglicode. And The overall goal of the 10-year plan uh, based on consultations we had with our stakeholders um, is to um, ensure that our support for the development of Obuasi um, is contributing to building uh, resilient and socioeconomically self-sustaining communities. Um, this is not something we start in our offices and thought of uh, because we feel we are in Obuasi and we know what is happening. It was based on an extensive consultations with all stakeholders uh, at all levels, including institutions, even at the national level, we did engage uh, at the community level, at the municipal and district assembly levels. Um, we invited or spoke to decentralized agencies, and that is how come we were able to put together the plan. And to be able to achieve the overall goal um, three key intermediate outcomes were identified, again, through the uh, consultations we made. One of them is around improving social development. Another one is uh, about diversifying and sustaining the local economy. And then the third one is around partnership. He made this statement after paying a courtesy call to City TV's Kumasi office, where he stated that he's hopeful that their new interventions who have addressed the concerns the inhabitants in Obwasi have raised over the years. So our objective is to help contribute to the development of Obwasi. And development is about people, um, development that is human-centered. So over the 10-year period, our interventions are focusing on job creation. So if genuinely, I mean, um, most, and we all know that um, illegal mining is a very complex uh, 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 space. Um, there are a lot of players. Some of them are very invisible. Uh, some of them have motives beyond just livelihood. Uh, normally, we tend to look at those who venture 
from only a livelihood point of view. Uh, but uh, I'm telling you um, that the, the chain is so complex. Um, so we believe that truly those who are venturing because of livelihood uh, through the 10 years will be deliberate and some of them definitely will be captured in our interventions.